How can you improve your chances of having a wonderful day? This week's business book recommendation is for How to Have a Good Day by Caroline Webb. This book covers a range of topics around making your day more productive, enjoyable and fulfilling, offering practical advice and tips around relationships, resilience, managing your energy, making the hours go further and thinking clearly. How to Have a Good Day is the perfect title for what this book is about. So what did I learn? Well, gosh, this book covers a lot of ground. It reinforces that having a good day or achieving what you want to achieve is about mind, body and soul. Getting your mindset right, working out what makes you tick, working out how to manage yourself and how to think is important. Nourishing your body with sleep and exercise matters, as does understanding your energy cycles to maximise your enthusiasm and output. Your soul is fed by good people. Relationships matter. People have an impact on you and you on them. The book not only outlines that all of these things make a difference, but also how to drive your dial in the right direction. What does it make me think differently about? Intent. What am I going to do today is different to what am I going to strive to achieve today. The book talks about setting your intentions daily when writing your plan for the day, set behavioural to-dos as well as task to-dos. I'm great at to-do lists, great at goal setting, but the missing piece described in this book is the link between the two. It's not just about what, but also how we get things done and even why. Do you have an intent with what you are doing today? What actions did I take? Well, I've started setting intentions every day, but I've also picked up other techniques. For example, the tips on beating procrastination. I particularly like the five whys technique. This is where you ask why five times to dig into why you aren't doing whatever it is you're putting off doing. I know this technique from root cause analysis, but never thought to use it on myself. What has the impact been? Well, the intention setting has had a big impact on work goals, but also personal goals like weight loss. Thinking more holistically about how everything impacts you having a good day or not is interesting too. I need to do something about my challenges with sleep and have taken baby steps as a result of reading this book. This book is a very, very highly recommended from me. Each of the seven parts of this book could stand alone as mini books. A huge bang for your buck with this one. Have a wonderful day.